Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Saturday, March 30th, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. Real good day for us last night. Uh, we cashed our NBA pick, which makes us now 14-3 and three in our last 17, and up over $3,600 for $100 per unit players. Uh, we went against Oklahoma City last night, back to Denver Nuggets. Denver gets the outright win, 115-105, getting about four, well, anywhere from three and a half to five points, depending on when you got the Nuggets. But we cashed again to go to 14-3 and three with our last 17. We've got a slam dunk Saturday in the NBA, one side going on Saturday's NBA slate. DocSports.com is the only place to get it, and that'll be bright and early on Saturday morning. Go check it out. College basketball, we had one play last night. We had the free pick here, the opinion which won. Uh, that was the Auburn Tigers over the North Carolina Tar Heels, and we had a premium pick seven-unit main event release last night on Virginia Tech, and they got the cover over the Duke Blue Devils, and we are now on a 67% winning run in college basketball. There's two plays on Saturday as we get to the Elite Eight. One happens to be a six-unit play for us. We have one pick, one play on Saturday's college basketball card. It is a six-unit play, and it goes on Saturday. Last weekend, we swept our six-unit plays Saturday and Sunday in the big dance. Don't miss out on this one. And, uh, again, that will be available over at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Don't miss out. 67% run right now in college basketball. Uh, last night in baseball, uh, the Cardinals were our lone play last night, and they get the big win, 9-5 over Milwaukee, even up that series at one game apiece. Going back to last year now, 43-23 and with the last 66 Major League Baseball plays. We are up almost $8,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. That was our lone play last night on the bases. We ease into it. We got one play going on Saturday. It's what we call a total dominator. And it's over at DocSports.com. Same time, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Let's cash again in Saturday's baseball. So right now running hot in a lot of stuff and a lot of sports. NHL, uh, I did go down to defeat last night. So we had a real nice night last night overall. Uh, three and one with the premium picks. We did uh, drop one in the NHL, but we're still on a nice nine and four run in the NHL. 90 and 69 with the last 159 in hockey. And we've got one play going on Saturday slate. It'll be available Saturday morning, DocSports.com. Let's continue these winning, these winning runs in the main sports, the major sports. Oh, I almost forgot. UFC back in action. Uh, our picks are ready and waiting. We've got two plays for Saturday's UFC card on ESPN2, and one of those plays is a seven-unit main event underdog. You're going to be able to get a great price, a big seven-unit play. You know what we've done. With the fight game, since we came over to DocSports.com about 11 months ago, we are up over $3,200 for $100 per unit betters. We're hitting over 60% of our fight picks, and you don't normally have to lay big prices. And on Saturday, I'll tell you what, you're not laying big prices at all. In fact, uh, the seven-unit main event in UFC happens to be an underdog play. So go grab those on Saturday morning at DocSports.com. Also, busy day for us. And uh, the big plays, of course, the six-unit in college basketball, the seven-unit main event underdog in UFC. We also have the uh, three-unit play going on in NBA as we like to go to 14-3 and three there. And, of course, the NHL. And we'll wrap it all up and come back and talk about how we did, win or lose, on a Saturday night. We fully expect to sweep the card on Saturday. Go grab it all. Uh, real quick note, uh, Gonzaga. In uh, their game on Saturday uh, uh, against Texas Tech, Gonzaga laying about four. They're getting all the public and sharp action right now. Not crazy overwhelming kind of stuff, but like in that 57 to 61% range as far as the tickets and the money's concerned. So uh, the public and the sharps are green on Gonzaga minus the points over Texas Tech. Uh, they're also green, uh, green on Purdue over Virginia. And uh, the Cavaliers, of course, laying a few points there. But uh, again, nothing overwhelming, but again, high 50 percentiles on Purdue from both the public and the Sharps back in the underdog Boilermakers over Virginia. Uh, that's your report for the Elite Eight matchups on Saturday. We'll let you know where the betting report is for Sunday when we come back at 4 a.m. Eastern on Sunday and talk a little bit about Sunday's games. But again, one of those two plays happens to be a big six-unit play for us as we like to continue this winning streak in college basketball. 67% current run, big seven-unit winner last night. Go grab them Saturday morning, Doc Sports. 
Com. All right, free pick. We're going to turn to baseball on Saturday, and we're going to back the Angels and Pena over the Oakland A's and Anderson. Listen, on paper, if you look at last year, you might be tempted to back the Oakland A's in this particular spot with the line where it is, but this Halo lineup is a better version over last year's, and last night they kicked it into gear in the late innings. When they got to that dog beat of a bullpen, uh, they were able to take Oakland to task, come from behind. They were down 2 nothing and get the win. Uh, six to two. So listen, once they got to the bullpen, it was game over in favor of the Angels. I doubt Anderson's going to last late into this game. That means more swings at a weak Oakland bullpen for the Angels. And uh, how about Mike Trout? He does it again last night. You know, he's been on base 279 times in his last 140 games. It's ridiculous. He's on base almost twice per game every time he plays for the Angels. You can see why they paid him the big money. We expect the Angels, nice price here, to get the win and go to 2-1 and one on the young season. So our free pick, our opinion on Saturday, the Angels over the Oakland A's. Again, don't forget about the uh, what's going on for us on Saturday at DocSports.com with those premium picks. NBA, we look to go to 15-3. and three. College basketball, six-unit play on a 67% run. We won the seven-unit play last night. Va Tech. NHL in action, we're on a 6-2 and two and 9-4 and four run. Baseball won yesterday, total dominator going, and then, of course, the UFC. Two fights on our UFC card, and one of those happens to be a big seven-unit underdog. Go grab it, DocSports.com on Saturday. And don't forget about the free $60 account. If you just want to give DocSports.com a trial run, you've yet to become a member, click on the link below uh, this video and get yourself started. Set yourself up for that free $60 account. All right, listen, if you like these uh, videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on the videos. And uh, we'll be right back here Sunday morning around 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time with our next free pick and a look ahead betting report to college basketball elite eight action. I'm Scott Sprancer, DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column. Talk to you Sunday morning.